In this presentation, we'll demonstrate how to integrate Workday and ServiceNow in real time using cloud application integration. We will demonstrate the bidirectional integration through three different use cases. The first one is creating a new employee in Workday and propagating that to ServiceNow. The second one would be updating the employee in Workday and synchronizing it with ServiceNow. And finally, the third one would be updating the user record in ServiceNow and propagating those changes to Workday. As part of this, we would like to show you how to create APIs using our app integration platform, how we consume APIs, how we do orchestration in setting up a new hired uh, web service. Creating an API is essentially a three-step process. You set up connections to all the systems that you're talking to. You then create a process that utilizes those connections, and then you publish the process, and Informatica will automatically publish uh, SOAP and REST endpoints for you. In our use case where we are demonstrating bidirectional integration between Workday and ServiceNow, the first step would be to create a connection to Workday using the out-of-the-box connector. So here you can see that I have set up a connection to Workday HR module. Uh, the second uh, step here in setting up the connections is setting up a connection to ServiceNow using its REST API. And then finally, we would set up a process uh, utilizing those connections. So you can see here I have a process that accepts new hire requests from Workday. And when I get the request based on the event uh, that triggered, it could be a new hire or it could be an update of an existing employee. I will route it accordingly. In the new hire case, we'll create a new user entry in ServiceNow. In the update case, we'll update that user um, in ServiceNow. Once we have set up the process, we'll go ahead and publish, which is really the final step, and then we'll have both REST and SOAP endpoints automatically published for us. And the final uh, configuration uh, thing in Workday would be to create a connection to this particular API. Workday provides the concept of subscription events, whereby we can create a new subscription. We can say what all events should fire that particular subscription. Uh, so in my case, I have a higher employee event, I have a personal information change event, and when any of those satisfy the criteria, then Workday will send a web service request. Uh, in this case, it's a SOAP request to the endpoint that we have just published. Uh, you can see here, I have the endpoint information here, and I have the username and the password uh, to trigger that API. So that's the configuration that's required for uh, both use case one and use case two. Uh, whereby we are um, accepting new hire events from Workday, and then we are accepting update um, employee events from Workday. I am logged into Informatica Cloud uh, application integration here, and uh, the first step is setting up a connection to Workday. So you can see here I'm just using the out-of-the-box connector um, in connecting to Workday's uh, HR module. Once I publish the connection, I have metadata available here that allows me to perform operations on the HR module. Uh, the second step in the connection uh, connections is setting up a connection to ServiceNow using its REST API. Uh, so you can see here we have all these operations that we are executing against ServiceNow API. In particular, uh, interest for us is really create user and update user operations, which are interacting with the table API uh, from ServiceNow. Once we've set up the connections, I then created a process, which is basically accepting events from Workday. Uh, so you can see here, uh, the first step really is uh, identifying what type of event uh, that we want to process. So if event name starts with hire, we want to um, create a user in service now. If event name starts with contact, then we want to update that user. And the way um, this orchestration works is, when Workday sends the request, it sends us the worker ID and the employee ID as part of the input. Uh, so you can see here it sends us the event name, event reference descriptor, and uh, worker ID and employee ID. We will then uh, make a call back to Workday using the information that it sent us, get all the information, and again, the callback is happening uh, through the out-of-the-box connector. So I call get workers operation, passing in the input fields that Workday sent, uh, and then using that information to create and uh, update the users. Once I have the orchestration completed, um, I will publish this process, and then when I publish it, I'll have a SOAP endpoint and a REST endpoint available for me, and then I'll uh, take the SOAP endpoint and uh, configure it as part of the subscription event in Workday. So let me now log in into Workday and uh, 
show you the configuration that is needed. So I'll click on the Core Connector Outbound Worker, and then go into Integration System, Edit Subscriptions, and then you can see here, I have all these subscription events that I've configured. Uh, so whenever there's a new hire event or a personal information change or an employee has been terminated, um, I'm basically telling Workday that it should send a notification to this particular endpoint that we have published on the Informatica side um, and the credentials that are needed to invoke that particular API. So that's basically, that's really the configuration that has to be done on the Workday side to trigger these API requests. Let's now go ahead and create a new hire um, in Workday. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what positions are open. I'm going to filter by uh, headquarters. And then I have a director position open here, so I'd like to hire for this particular position. I'm going to create a new hire and enter basic information that is needed in order to save this record. And then save this record. And finally, just um, choose the hire date which would be today, and submit it. At this point of time, Workday is going to send a, a notification to Informatica saying that a new hire event was triggered uh, in Workday. So let's go ahead and uh, see what happened in the back end. When I refresh my processes list, you can see here at um, 839 UTC, I received a new request from Workday, which is basically a hire event for Bob Simpson and this is his uh, employee ID. If I open the process, on the left-hand side, you can see uh, how long it took to execute each of these activities, and you can see the runtime monitoring here. So we received the request, uh, the event name started with hire, the notification trigger was completed, so that event was completed in Workday. We then issued a callback based on the worker ID that we received. We got all the information for this particular um, employee, uh, we then issued a call to ServiceNow to get the access token and then created a user in ServiceNow. So you can see here this guy, Bob Simpson, was created in ServiceNow, and this was the um, ServiceNow unique identifier that was generated. So that's the um, orchestration here uh, on the Informatica side. So let's log into ServiceNow and see if that particular user uh, was created. So you can see here Bob Simpson with uh, Applicant ID 21445. So that's this one, Bob Simpson 21445. Uh, so you can see the first name and the last name came over. You can see that the applicant ID came over. You can see that the major information also came over. Uh, the transaction origin for this was birthday, and then high date also uh, came over. At this point of time, we have in real time synchronized an event that happened in Workday in service now and we have done it by exposing an API, uh, and we have used work-based subscription events to trigger that API. All right, so that's uh, really our first use case. So that completes our first use case wherein we created a new employee in Workday and we synchronized it with ServiceNow. In the second use case, we are going to change personal information. In this case, I'm going to change the gender for the uh, new hire that we just um, created in Workday. And then um, the event that we received from Workday is, is going to be routed to the same API. And inside the process, we are going to do dynamic routing. So if it's a new hire, we are going to create a user. If it's a personal information change, we're going to update the user. So you can see here, this is where we are doing the dynamic routing um, of the um, event that's coming in. All right, so let's go ahead and log into Workday again. So Bob Simpson is our employee. And I'm going to go to personal section here and edit this information. I'm going to choose the gender and submit it. At this point of time, Workday is going to send a notification again. So if I go back to my processes in uh, Informatica and refresh my process list, you can see here a personal information change event for Bob Simpson was triggered. And if I open the process, the first thing that we do is we check the event name. The event name starts with personal. The notification trigger is completed. And then we issue a call back to Workday. We get all the information. And then uh, we get the system ID for that particular um, applicant ID. So we already know that the applicant ID is 21445. Uh, so we're just issuing a REST call to ServiceNow 
to retrieve the system ID for that particular applicant. Once we get the system ID, we'll then um, prepare the update request and update the user. Uh, so you can see here the gender is being passed along with the phone number and the output status is 200. That's the HTTP status code. So if we go back to service now here and reload this form, you can see that the gender was updated. So in this way, through the same API that we have exposed to Workday, we have done create, we have done update into service now in real time. So that completes our, um, our second use case. In our third use case, we would like to change this information uh, the user, uh, for the user that we have just created. Uh, we want to change user ID and we want to change his email. And then we want to update the uh, Workday employee record with that information. So we are going to create connections to Workday, which we have already done. And then we're going to create a process which basically updates the Workday user ID and then updates his contact information. So these are two different API calls that are happening because Workday distributes this uh, across different operations. Once we've created the process, then we publish the process. We now have a SOAP API, we have a REST API. In the case of ServiceNow, it's going to invoke a REST API. Uh, so the next thing we're going to see is how to configure ServiceNow to send HTTP requests when uh, certain events happen inside ServiceNow. So the first step is creating an outbound REST message. Um, so you'll go into ServiceNow, create this outbound REST message, uh, put in the endpoint information, put in all the query parameters that ServiceNow uh, would have to send uh, as part of the request. And then you'll create a business rule, which is nothing but a server-side script that will execute uh, based on the conditions that you have set. In my case, I'm saying whenever user ID changes from new user uh, to a different value or email changes, uh, go ahead and uh, send out an event. You would have to pass in the values. So in this case, we've written um, JavaScript code to uh, pass all these values from the uh, sys user table. So I'm getting the sys ID, the user ID, the applicant ID, and the email that I would need to update back to Workday. And that's basically it. Once we have set up this business rule, once we have set up a connection using the outbound REST message, we can test for the condition. And then if everything satisfies the conditions that we have configured, uh, then we'll get a request from ServiceNow. And you can see here that uh, we are updating the Workday account uh, with the user ID information. And then we are updating his contact information uh, with the email change that we made in ServiceNow. All right, so let's actually uh, go, ahead, go ahead and see this um, in action. So I am going to change this user ID. So this is Bob Simpson. And then I'm going to change his email. All right, and then I'm going to update this record. At this point of time, I should receive a call back from ServiceNow. You can see here um, at 8.48, I got a web service request or an event from ServiceNow uh, and uh, I'm just doing some routing here, checking if the target equals to workday. If it equals to workday, then it goes ahead and uh, invokes this particular process, which is updating the workday user ID. So you can see here the user ID that I passed, Bob Simpson. Uh, and then it's updating the contact information with the uh, email that I just uh, added. And everything was completed successfully. So I can go back into workday and click on contact and see that the email address information was added. I can go into the job section here and click on worker security and see that the workday account was created too. So this way we have shown you how to perform real time integration between workday and service now. Uh, just to recap on the service now side, uh, we have created a new outbound REST message, and we have configured business rules uh, in order to trigger the event. On the Workday side, we have used subscription events from Workday, uh, which basically triggers a SOAP request into Informatica. Thank you.